Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. And today we're going to talk about Ubiquiti Nano Stations. Uh, basically what we're going to work on doing is passing VLAN traffic over the wireless link. So let me kind of explain what that means here. Uh, let me show you my setup. Uh, let me draw it out here for you. So I have a very long driveway. At the bottom, we have a switch and we have a nano station. And I apologize for my crude drawings because this is the first time I'm using this whiteboarding software. And we have a piece of CAT6 between. We have our nano station here. So we'll call this nano station one. And we'll call this switch one, right? And then up at the top of my driveway, I have another nano station. Call this nano station two, right? And that is attached to another switch. Call that switch two. The Ethernet cable between the two. There we go. So now we have a wireless bridge between these two points, right? I have cameras in this building where the switch is and they're on a different VLAN and up at my house, they're also on that same VLAN. So the dilemma comes is how do you pass, how do you pass VLAN traffic over these two nano stations? How do you make them look like uh, a trunk port basically? And so what I, now that we've got this out of the way here, let me, uh, let me take a screenshot real quick, just so I have this for my own records. And then let me get out of the whiteboard and let me clear my screen here. Okay. So how do we do this? Right? So here's one of our nano stations and I'm not going to break what I have set up right now. Cause it's kind of a, a pain in the butt to set it up later and it's already functioning. So I, but I just wanted to go over how I did it uh, for anybody else that ran into or might run into these issues. Right? So we come into the network tab and we've got this switched into, this is one of our, this is our lower driveway nano station. So this is nano station one in our diagram that we just drew. And you can see it's got a static IP, it's in advanced mode. And we are going to come down here to bridge network and VLAN network, right? So we have, these have two LAN ports on them, LAN zero and LAN one. So I'm using LAN zero, to feed over to my switch on that end. Um, you can kind of forget about uh, LAN one for the moment. What we need to do is we need to bridge. So we have, we, we've got the default bridge here, bridge zero, which bridges uh, LAN one, oh, excuse me, LAN zero with wireless LAN zero, which is you know, basically your management network, right? What we need to do is create another bridge or an additional bridge with our VLAN. And before we can do that, you need to come up here and add your VLAN and on what interface it needs to be. So because I need VLAN 35, which is my security camera VLAN, I need it on both links. Uh, we've added it to, and I was also playing with link, link one as well. So you can disregard that for this video, but um, we've added VLAN ID to LAN zero, uh, 35 to LAN zero and WLAN zero. We've come down here now and created this bridge for LAN 0.35 and wireless LAN.0.35. Uh, and that bridges, that essentially creates, uh, passes that VLAN 35 over the wireless link. And this is the other end of the, uh, this is the upper end of our nano station link here. And we'll go down, we'll go to the network tab and we'll do the same, same thing. We've added uh, VLAN 35 to LAN 0 and to WLAN 0. We'll go down to bridge network, same thing. Um, we've got LAN 0 0.35 and WLAN 0 0.35 bridged um, or, or added as, a, as, a, as an additional bridge on that network. So that's great. Now we've got our point to point link working. What do we need to do on the switch side of things? Well, on the Unify side, I do have a Unify system uh, on the property for most things. It's not, I'm not full Unify. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into settings and we need to go over to networks and we need to add our VLAN. So in this case, my security VLAN, VLAN ID 35, 
uh, it's literally just VLAN only. Give it the VLAN, IP, uh, VLAN ID. That's all I do in here. Now we can come once we're once we've done that, we can come over to devices, and this is my switch that's connected to that lower driveway. And all we really need to do is uh, go over to the port setting, and we need to look at this is the, this is what's connected to that LAN zero uh, link on the nano station, and make sure it's got all this is this essentially creates makes it a trunk port so this is all set we can leave it alone when you have a camera that you or a device that you want on a different vlan uh for this part of the uh tutorial here um you can come into the port that you need to change and you can see my vlans here um you can ignore 45 that was something else i was playing with um so we'll select the VLAN ID 35, we'll click apply. And that's basically from your, let me call up my, uh, let me see if I can find my screen share here. All right, we'll just do this. So that's basically from our, so here's our nano station one again, right? And here is our link to our switch one, right? And then off this switch is a camera. So basically what we've covered so far is from the camera all the way back to the nano station. And then we've also covered, um, let's cover this part here. We've covered, so we've covered the wireless link. Now we need to cover our secondary switch up here. So let's clear our screen. We will go switch back to our pointer. We'll come up here. Oops, yeah, it's continue working. Now on this side of things, it is an edge switch and that's because that's what I had. So it is a little different when you log into your edge switch here um, and, I, and I'll probably change this at some point. This is, this is a fairly old switch. Uh, I think it's one of the original ones um, and they haven't updated the firmware in a long time for it. So um, we'll come over to the VLAN tab here. And again, you can disregard the 25, the management VLAN, something else I was playing with. We're, right now we're only concerned with uh, VLAN ID 35 and we're concerned with our uplink port. This comes back to my core and then this goes out to the nano station two. So you can see my management VLAN is untagged. That's the primary VLAN on that port. Same thing on the uplink from my core switch. And you can see that VLAN 35 is tagged on both of those ports. Uh, that is how I'm passing uh, traffic down to uh, my or back and forth between uh, the lower part of my property utilizing uh, my my uh, nano stations. That's how I get a second VLAN on it. So it's not too bad. There's some information out there. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out how to do this. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, messing around with it, trying to get it to go. Um, the equipment that I have here is older. Uh, I'll be upgrading that at some point shortly. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Hopefully that helps somebody. Um, if you're, if you've got a, you know, rural piece of property, or you're trying to get a camera or something down the end of your driveway or, you know, animal field, et cetera. We have, you know, chickens and stuff that we use the cameras to look over. So that's how I did it. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this brief video here. Uh, if you did thumbs up, if you didn't thumbs down, leave me a comment. Um, shoot me a message. You can follow along. I have a little blog site, achubbard.com. Uh, I'll post this video over there as well as some additional write-ups, etc. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more IT-related videos.